Hello and welcome back to this uh, guestbook uh, tutorial. Um, so what we're going to do is just going to spend um, one minute just going over what we've done already. Okay, so with inside our index.php, um, the first thing the style needs type here. If you didn't notice that already, if you did, well done. Um, okay, so we've echoed out our h1 and then our navbar and so on, and that's all nicely set there. And we've got our post entry using the get method of page equals post and then just index.php for view entries. Next we came to here and we've got if is set the get page super global um, then it's going to do um, what's in here which is nothing at the moment else is going to connect to the database using MySQL connect to the local host and the username being root the server being local host and if it doesn't connect it's going to give a uh, error or it's going to die and give an error of couldn't connect. We then select our, our database here which is guestbook and next we're querying to see uh, we're to basically extract all the information from the guestbook um, and we're ordering by the ID and descending so if there's been 30 uh, entries in and someone enters a new one in then 31 or the last entry will be the one that's displayed first okay so now what we're doing is we're um, counting how many entries have been put in there so for example if there were 31 entries then the number of rows would be 31 so if number of rows is more than 0 which 31 is then it's going to display entries if the number is equal to if the number is not more than 0 i.e. it will be in 0 then it will display echo there's no entries in the database so what have we got to do how can we do this right well it's very very simple actually what we use is a while loop and what we say is row equals mysql fetch associates and if you've not seen this before it's a very simple um, way to do it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to loop through however many um, rows there are in the database so what we're going to do is we're going to echo the entries out and very very simply we're just going to use the paragraph and we're just going to make a little template up of this first of all and basically it's just going to look like name and let's stick a bold tag uh, after this and a bold one before here and name equals and we need to um, add this on so uh, row and then we've got name and let's just copy this because obviously it has um, a break, line break after it anyway next we want email and we come here and we say email okay next we want uh, websites so we just say websites next we want um, comments and what we're going to do is we're actually going to put a break in here and then we're going to say comments and next what we want is the dates equals row name dates and then we're just going to basically put a space on one of these and we're going to say time equals row and time okay and that is basically it and then after uh, each uh, entry that's going in I'm just going to put an HR tag so let's control us to save come to here refresh and as you can see now it sits like that but um, what we want is a space between here space between here space here space here space here and control us to save so refresh it again and there we go okay now thanks for all the good work uh, you did from David thought from David I obviously had space um, line breaks here and here so what do we do well we come to our comment and we use a PHP function of new line to break okay NL to BR new line to break which will read any um, lines that have been put in there or line breaks been put in there and now you can see it's like this okay that's pretty much it done the view and the entries and if we insert another entry into it and we say uh, John Smith at HTTP 
www.google.com it doesn't really matter I'm going to say hello this is a line break and you can do the same one as well so it doesn't really matter and now if we refresh you'll see that the the up the most latest entry will be displayed first okay and as you can see hello this is a line break as well okay now if we want to um, yeah the rest is the rest is pretty simple okay now what we need to do is do um, to be able to post an entry so let's get on with that shall we okay well then we just need to move back over to PS pad and with inside this bit if is set get page um, then this is where we need to basically make up our, um, our our form so we're just going to say echo and first thing we need to do is make a form and action equals form underscore or uh, guest underscore process dot php method equals uh, post close the form ay 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 okay so obviously we need some um, bits of information here from the person so we just say input type equals text name equals name and yep that's that bit done and then next one we need uh, email and we put email and websites websites and then comments and we're just going to basically remove that and then come to the next line and make another paragraph and just say text area name equals comments close the text area and then we need we'll just put an HR tag in here and then we'll just put another paragraph and put input type equals text name equals submits and value equals post entry okay so let's control s to save come to here refresh this and now as you can see we made a mistake in that so text area oh yeah there we go okay let's control s to save okay it's not the prettiest of um, forms but this is not about teaching you how to make a form it's teaching you how to make a guestbook so okay so now we've got the different entries that we want to use in here and we've got the name email website comments and we can make the comment box a little bit bigger so let's say rows equals let's say 10 columns equals let's say 15 I think that should be enough ok let's make the columns equal to 26 I think that's normally a pretty good size ok so now they've got a, a good box to make it, an entry in here ok and ok yeah input type equals submit, submit. so I'm just being trying to do this too fast ok so there we go so we click um, post entry and that takes us to guest uh, underscore process dot php ok the next bit um, that we need to do um, really I need a whole uh, 10 minutes to show you because I want to show you also the validating um, of the, desk, the guest book to make sure it's filled in properly um, so I'm going to cut this lesson a short here and then move over onto the next um, lesson to teach you um, how to process this and enter the information to the guest book so once again my name is David Thorne 
um, you can visit me at www.thornwebdesign.de and once again please subscribe to me uh, the more people that, that subscribe um, I will do more and more tutorials okay thanks so much for watching and see you in the next part